Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on Tea Time where we bring you entertainment news, views, analysis and the latest buzz in showbiz. I'm Tukumbo Taiwo and I'm here with my very exciting colleagues Ife Oshinkeye and Elsie Godwin. Hello people. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling so silently? Mm. It's one That's of those what days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're still in the Kabata mood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, you're representing the LC for well, the Kapatas out there. I tried to. I tried to. Okay. So I was actually going through social media and everywhere I went to, you know, was just I talking about R. Kelly. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah. Oh, no, he was in the R. Kelly part and you mm. were in the Adikule Gold. Adikule foreign yeah, guy. So, yeah, yeah, you know, well, I saw me, the, 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 me, yeah. me, I yeah, saw Black Face. Adikule Gold was trending all through I yesterday now. I saw Black Face and Two Face. You saw Black Face and Two Face. Yeah, it's Seriously. Like they're starting the choreo again. Again. Yes. No, I think Black Face is the one starting. It's, the, <laughs> it's a one sided fight. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so many people, even celebrities, had to comment to say, This guy knows they're tired. So Anki Jai said, I, I declare the spirit of tiredness on you. Like, you need to get Do you tired know and move the on. The one that caught me the most. Which one? One guy wrote, I smoked the same weed he smoked. And can you believe that I walked, I strolled from Ogudu to Elegoshi Beach and forgot the car there? <laughs> if you decipher that, then like, you know, like he strode, so he forgot face. what I car. I don't know what he's fighting for, but we are tired of this. Yeah, fight they said it's over for understand. Two Face. That once they are done, yeah, yeah. that his career. Will so, be if over. you saw the videos um, for the wedding, yes, the dance really, and everything, yes, 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 I think that was like so. Amazing. I think it was And fun. I saw yeah. some people, some that guests you that were invited. Oh, for, okay. Yeah, you, have you seen the pictures? I've not oh, yet seen, I just saw the video yeah, yeah. when they were pictures, dancing. Yeah, the pictures oh, okay. are out of people that, that went for them. Dotson was there. I can't remember. A, a lot of uh, celebrities were there. Okay. But um, Dotson is the only one I can actually remember. And they were all wearing the same thing. So I think they did the whole thing. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, so it was amazing. And I like the part when they, the video of the both of them dancing. dancing and yeah. then there was smoke. Smoke, exactly all, that. Yeah, that was really sweet. And it just looked so natural nothing extra vegan this is just like these are two people that are really in love that regardless of how the ceremony is all about mm -hmm. we're going to have fun and but we're are you surprised it's definitely good yeah it's but you know so... like being celebrities man yeah, you but... expect them to want to be on ovation you know and all of that but come on man mm -hmm. and then i saw david o's post too saying i uh i uh, oh, to someone me it sounded asking very him, is it the one someone was asking him about your man he said that's the plan not that one no, I no, oh, no, not that one. I think okay. I think what he said to me, to me, was sarcastic because I hope say on our union will last forever. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Oh, like, that's what he that was wishy what he wrote. Yeah, to. Yeah, like, yeah. I hope on our union will last forever. I think forever. I saw that as well. Concerning, I, like, I don't think it's sarcastic. Me, it was, I think it's, it was, it's uh, something that most people would mm -hmm. mouth out because mm -hmm. most of us. Yeah, like uh, my prayer union lasts forever. Simple, but I hope pray on our union will last forever. Oh, no, like, maybe the way you're putting. Let me put it the way he put it. I pray your union lasts forever. Oh, it's not like oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to uh, bring you up to date on the main uh, stories this morning and the drama sizzle, sizzles on regarding R. Kelly as his brother reveals that they were both uh, molested uh, by their older sister. So uh, it's uh, like I said, it's drama, drama, drama. First we get the shock of the docu-series and then now the brother is coming out to make even much more revelatory um, stuff. Mm. So and then to think that it's actually coming from the brother. So there's no way we can even dispute this. Um, and so they said they were sexually molested for uh, like six years or when they were six years old. I no, can't even remember. He was six years, his brother was six years old at the time while their elder sister was 16. So okay. that was yeah, but for how long eight. was it? For I think it was also for six years as well. Yeah, they for said, six years. Yeah, for six yeah. years. So that was where I was um, so, heading to. So um, if she was 16 at the time plus another six, so mm. she would have been... How old uh, at the time 21. they stopped being 21, and it would have just been 12, mm. so it was still. No, but you need to. I hope you know this video, the one of the brother speaking up, is mm -hmm. an old video. Like it's not a new um, okay. interview. It's, no, but they it had was to dig infused it up. in the docu series. Yeah, it was infused, but I I had to watch the whole one hour video this oh, morning. Oh, you seen it? Yes, I did. Not oh. the docu series. Oh. This because one of um, okay. R. Kelly, of I mean, the, the brother, brother saying talking. a whole lot. And mm -hmm. 
it's part of the reason I'm shaking this morning. You know, it's really Is it the one that was on the radio station? Yes. Or the one where, because there was another one. An interview with a blogger, I think, Atasha. Yeah, but they called him. And no, no, home, this one, one, live in the okay, studio. Live, I mean, yeah, okay. he... I don't think we want to talk about everything he mentioned here, but I no, think I I'm think going... No, I think we should. I'm, I think we should, no. because parents need to learn from hmm. it. Oh. Okay, I know he mentioned that um, the mom had to work and school at the same yeah, time, so left them, left them the, the care, care of their elder sister. I think there are four. So there is um, Carrie, two there is Robert. Brothers, no, 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 yeah. one sister. sister. She's the only okay. elder sister. Uh, I think they lost. Um, he was saying something about the mother going through two miscarriages before okay. they had the last baby, which is um, Carrie that is talking now. And she did this in form of a punishment. Mm -hmm. Like when they do something that she doesn't like, she tells them to sit in the house. Um, it's either one at a time. They sit in the house. You can't watch TV. Then at some point, she told. Um, him to come into the room. She was having her robe on and then she opened her body. She was totally naked and then she um, Made him start touching her private parts and that was like the first instance and after that the next one was her forcing his mouth on his on her private part so it's really graphic and horrible and this is just me going to say that as much as we try to pay attention to the girl child mm -hmm. The male child also needs this attention, I which is children. What, period. Yeah, yeah. I, I I say this a lot, but people keep coming at me and saying, no, the male child get the attention. It's just about the girl child, but that's not the situation. You actually need to properly train them and pay them attention. So when you're trying to fight for the girl child, mm. fight for the boy child and make it a general yeah. thing. Right. And then aside that, you now realize the ripple effect of all what she has done because he said when him when his um, son was shot, that's Kerry's son got shot. I think he died from that. The his sister called and reached out. That's after they hadn't spoken since their mother died in right, 1993. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I heard about your son. And then at that point, everything came back to him and he said, I forgive you. And he was even more hurt because she refused to admit what she did. She just said, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't contact me anymore. And that set him back again, you know. And he also went further to say that even the children of his sister mm -hmm. are now having relationships, like they okay, are practicing incest. incest. You know, the, the, the daughter mm. came to stay with him at some point, and she got jealous because he, the uncle, was talking to another girl, and she was loving him in a, a type of way. So it's a whole messed wow. up family right and now. It's a can of worms that is just coming out. You need to watch it to really understand it, because I'm just trying to give you bits I of, didn't even want to watch you know, it, because from what I read, I was so like, So I don't know. even know if I'm supposed to say R. Kelly is the victim now or the um, um, monster. No, is but he is both. Because, yeah, that's the background the, to what made him what yeah, he is now. Exactly. And the problem now is he does not see himself as having a problem. He's still very close to the sister. And from the whole thing, you can really insinuate that they are probably still having some kind Whatever of Whatever it is, mm. once in a okay. long wow. while. So, this is okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's so you too know, much. Yeah, it's, it's too much it info, too much, much, too graphic. Okay, yeah. so um, one of the things I saw regarding, um, you know, all of the information I was saying I saw about R. Kelly, Tunde Ednott so has actually watched one of the series on the, um, the docu series on okay. the Lifetime. I was trying to actually get that, but unfortunately, I've not been able to see so that I can even watch a clip. But he says he has watched it, you know, and that now he doesn't even, that he has just, um, you know, brought down the reputation of R. Kelly so much so that he doesn't even want to have anything to do with R. Kelly. And I know there are a lot of people that will watch that yeah, no. and think like that as well. You know, not just here, but even in mm. the States. Mm. You know, and that's one of the reasons why maybe he was saying that he would have to sue. Let's not forget, the power of the words, you know, has a way of harming, you know, someone's reputation. And all mm. of this... If yeah. at the end of the day he is found not guilty... guilty. Yeah. This, whole this has thing done would, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and forever. even aside, Tunde right, Edmund speaking from his own perception of what he watched, there's so many reactions going on. Some are saying, some are blaming the girls, some are blaming the parents, some are blaming R. Kelly, some are blaming mm -hmm. the people who worked with R. Kelly and actually helped him go get these children, you know? So it's getting and different you know reactions from different And you know your journey now, camp. one of the big things, a savage girl yeah. has dared him that, okay, come and take a lie detector test. Okay, detector test, test. Mm. I saw that as mm. well. All right, uh, time for uh, a break. When we return, we'll be bringing you the latest scoop, the latest news, and the latest headlines on Chloe. Stay right here, and we'll be right back. 
It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you that deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of duh. Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably I haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact. I can prove that. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Time for our next story. Now, just a month after having an accident, Chloe uh, gets her back, her car back. And if you're wondering if it's Chloe Kardashian, no, this is Bibi Nijak, former contestant. Yes, Chloe. Yeah. Okay, so um, good news, I would say. Mm. Good news, good news. Um, considering that, you know, she got the car as a gift. Um, back in the past. So um, this is good news. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> and the car is good. I'm sure um, whoever worked on it did it well or hopefully there was insurance and it was taken to the right place because it's, it's really looking well it put together. Replaced. Exactly. Replaced. Because I, the way I saw the accident, I'm like, this hmm. doesn't look yeah, like so they, they have worked. insurance, they can... Yeah, replace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That, that's what I think because what she's posing with looks... It spanking looks, new. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, but trust me, there are lots of good panel beaters out there too. Yeah, not this kind of flawless, <laughs> smooth work, to be fair. Because if you look at the, the car when it was... So are you saying our panel beaters cannot get this job done? And they do can't get well? it done, but yeah, this looks too job. slick. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Are you saying they cannot make it slick? From are you trying the, to shade our panel beaters? When you see beaters? the car, uh, how bad it was, mm. you know, you will know that. You will still be able to see some little, no, little dents. I, 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 I think there are panel beaters that, that can actually that can do put. good work. Okay, yeah. all right. I will, so I, okay. We are, just we are very parts. talented and creative to buy, to in this part. It's not even the part. Destroyed. I'm talking about this, the, the, um, the yes. body. The, yes, the, now you have to, all you have to do is replace the bumper, change the fender, change whatever, change the lights, change the bonnet. If you have to, change the windscreen, change it. You've done the job before, if I... I mean, I haven't done the job before, but I have driven cars. And once you're in this country and you're driving a car, you become a mechanic automatically. That's what I'm saying. And if you haven't, like, done... Well, I've had a car crash before yeah. and the car was put back together and people were yes. like for real is that the same car you so see? I know it works but yeah. if, uh, you know I, look let me not talk about your car if uh, but um, I think we should we should move why, on why why don't you talk about my car <laughs> why why if, uh, you so get the drift. Are you is it because it's a 2010 G wagon is that why you don't want to talk about it because I'm not no, driving the no, 2019 no, no, no. I would just let the two girls that followed Banky you know come and actually assess your car and say what they have to say oh, are you I trying to say he's <laughs> more than the car he's driving now. What? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I just Are you said, saying I deserve a better car? I is claim that what you're saying? it. Well, he's claiming it, so let us let him claim it. Is that what you're saying? That's not what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But how far was the keke ride this morning? Which keke ride? I don't use keke, oh, do good. I? Yeah. Oh, what do you use? <laughs> okay. I fly in <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next, uh, we're talking uh, a dwarfism as Fatima Timbo promotes body positivity. Okay. I don't know what I feel regarding this. I, well, I think it's actually a good thing, considering people of her genre. I don't think... It's his genre. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't do this to me. I know. Oh. Okay, so considering people of her stature, <sighs> better, yeah? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. Mm. All right, Elsie. So considering, um, I don't think I've met anyone who has actually come out, you know, publicly in the way she has, you know, yeah. to actually... Um, talk about po body positivity. Adi you know. Tutu. Yeah, but even Adi Tutu's own is, you know, tribal marks. It's not like um, stunted growth. So uh, has is even... Fenty, Rihanna, bringing a lot of people with different body parts to be models in our show. Yes, but at the end of the day, they individually don't get the credit. It still goes to Rihanna for bringing them onto the show. I'm talking about one particular but person. But I remember one of them actually got the credit, the pregnant one that was in her well, last show. Well, she's not a, a, a midget or um, a, a stuntily... Great. Yeah, but at least that's body pot positivity. I'm that not is talking about you. body positivity. I'm talking about people who are of that height. Um, mm. Should I remind you of the guy in Game of Thrones? What's his name again? What's his name again? What's um, <sighs> that short guy? 
Oh, uh, you're the one with the good memory uh, now. I'm talking uh, about... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to remember oh, his name. Okay. Les, mm -hmm. I want to talk with Elsie while you remember and recollect your thoughts. You okay. know, so Elsie, you understand where I'm coming from? Mm -mm. You don't understand, mm -hmm. you know... <laughs> Yes. I get I'm what you're saying. No, it's, it's interesting that she's coming out. Oh, no, no, she's been posting these videos. You know, it's exactly. just that a platform saw it mm -hmm. and um, decided to have an interview yeah. with her, and mm -hmm. that has gone really viral because of the platform mm -hmm. that had the interview with her. But there are people, I mean, there is um, even a professional colleague working in a radio station who everybody knew. I think it's called Zubi. Mm -hmm. He's also an actor. He's of, of the same height, yeah. and he he acts his into, he's an OAP mm -hmm. and all that. He's well known, you mm -hmm. know. And there are so many of them saying, out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying none of them are not well known. Like he was saying, I can't popo. Those are the two that we know that I, I think I've got. But what is the best way to talk about body, body positivity other than living your life yeah. And yeah, not caring not about what that. people I'm say. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying at the end of the day is that in as much as we have a lot of people that are well known, you know, like Aki Apopo, let me use this because I think they're the two people that are most well known in, in Nigeria regarding their height. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't think they have actually come out to actually talk about body positivity. They have addressed their acting. By the way, their name is Chinedu. Yes, thank you very and much. Osita Ihe. But we cannot take that away from them. <laughs> you know, we, they, we can never take that Aki Apopo. Okay, we it's, agree it's, with yeah. you, so what I'm saying. Is Kudos that at the end to of her. The day, exactly. She came out. Thank she's you. talking about body Thank positivity. You. You know, you get and that then she's now. a dwarf. But she's beautiful. She's you know? beautiful. And I love, and I love the her. What yeah. she said that I really admired was that she cannot change anything about the I way mean, she looks mm -hmm. or her height, mm -hmm. but she can change the way she views herself. Mm -hmm. All right. That is just so. Positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Time for another break. When we come back, it'll be time for yet another interesting headline. Don't go anywhere. We do not understand we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. A 500 naira they collect with no talk, they will beat you. Now two other five and they pay. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're swiftly moving on to our next story, which is on uh, Nollywood blockbuster Lionheart, where pirated copies are being sold for 150 naira here in Lagos. Um, in traffic. In traffic, yeah. Mm. And, <laughs> the first time I saw the story, actually, I, I think I saw it on Tunde Ednott's um, page. He posted, and someone was actually saying that it was Tunde Ednott that was in the video that was complaining that this film just came out, you know, and you guys are actually selling it for 150. You know, they had packaged it and put it into a. Um, a video. And I think that's, sure what, that's what somebody watched. <laughs> <laughs> that did not have that did not have subtitle. There was no I subtitle. Knew you you were know, going to please, go my people, oh, let's, let me let's tell you watch something. it on the right See, you have been asking me where did I see it? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Don't but lie. I just didn't Tokumbo doesn't like it when people blow where their did own you trumpet. See? You know I am well connected oh, and Chineco well, Yembe. you know, I had a private screening. Oh. Hey. When did the private where, where? screening take place? Mm -hmm. Who Wait, organized it? Yes. As in, no, wait, 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 w
this cinema. So do you, you know how connected I am? Yeah, Man. but if, if you had gone, which was some time back, it you would not. No, I'm not talking about the, that private screen. Oh, which private, another private, one. I just told you I just saw it this weekend. Organized so by who? A private screen. I had a private screening this weekend. Organized it's by who? The fact that you guys are not invited. Tell, okay, don't tell me, but tell your organizer. So All right, please. guys. Collaborate with the right platform. Let's come back with to this story. Let's come back to this story because it's well. a very serious Thank issue. You. I'm connected. Yeah, so yeah, let's come back to the story. Yeah, it's interesting that we're talking it's, about. Yes, yeah, so this is a serious issue. It's copyright, yeah, you know. It's not, in, yeah. it's not new. Like, I've seen this happen to so many other movies. Like, you, you'll Black be Panther. on your way going to the cinema and on the way into the <laughs> uh, to, to the hall you're seeing them showing you come and buy and the movie yeah, you're but going this to is watch different you know? in the sense that at least it's nigeria and if it's you know if it's um other than i can understand no, but this is always been all been even all nigerian movies, movies this has always yeah. been going on i'm this sure if you look really hard you'll find chief daddy somewhere yeah so it's not it's understand. not peculiar to Lionheart or Black Panther. It's something I see almost every day. But we have to still take into consideration yes, which the speed. Is why we're, the um, speed? Piracy yeah. is one of those things that really needs to be tackled. Yes, yes and needs to be addressed. Fast. Yeah, like real fast. Let some people go to jail for like thirty years for just pirating one movie. Then they would understand. People would know the but let's gravity. Let's talk about it in the sense that do we actually think it can be curtailed? Because I'm thinking at the end of the day, regardless, someone out there is still going to want it's to like global. take advantage. Piracy exactly. That's what global, I'm saying. So. I How think can it we... can be reduced. Okay, that's, but we can't can eradicate it. Can it can be reduced. Yeah, I mean, yeah, having okay. someone selling this in traffic with the whole audacity, mm -hmm. it, that can't be eradicated. And like well, I just... said, once we have like a major, um, is this sentence now, I would call it, or yeah. A, yeah. a major repercussion, maybe it will limit... But you know that actually, there are repercussions for this, but these are still businesses that go on in Alaba. Do you understand? And this boils down to the corruption because the people that are supposed to go and arrest those people mm -hmm. are going there to collect bribe instead. Oof. Do you understand? And that's They're a different ball collect, game altogether. And different. So we have to start from restructuring, mm -hmm. from um, reformation of the people in charge of those so bodies. So we're not just understand? even addressing copyright, copyright issues, 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 corruption yeah, issues. Corruption, mm. reformation yeah. of the bodies that are wow, in charge that of are in it. Charge. Yeah, so wow. th those are the places we need to tackle first. Mm -hmm. now, once we're about, once we are, we are done with that reformation, and these people go out there to do their jobs, mm -hmm. they see, see, we've seen instances on television where they went to Alaba, they seized, they did this, mm -hmm. but it is still going on. Yeah. That is because some people are still going back door mm -hmm. to collect bribe and say, okay, when they come and bust to this place, they won't come to your place, you mm -hmm. get. And those that are not willing to pay are the ones that get mm -hmm. arrested. And, and then these the guys news. have some yeah. kind of inside information. When they know they're coming to inspect, they everybody... They don't open. Exactly, and, yeah. and then they close and or then, hide. You know, they, all, they also have the... I'm sure they are, they're, there's, they a, there's an association, exactly. chairman of Alaba exactly. boys and all of mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. yeah, so no, but even regardless of the association, I'm sure with all of them, you know, liaising with each other there, once they know that, you know, there's some kind of body that is coming, yeah, they, they would, would inform, or, exactly. Yeah, or maybe they maybe they would not just inform their competitors. Because, so guys, I remember <laughs> one time that I think it was NAFDAC officials that were, like, targeting a lot of pharmacists um, mm -hmm. at one point in time. And before I knew what was going on, everyone was like, it, there was an area that was passing by, and then all of a sudden they were closing shops, and, and people were standing, you know, left, right, and center. And I was asking, what's going on, you know? And someone was telling me that, oh, there are some NAFDAQ people coming, they're closing down all the pharmacy for so anyone that is So, but then, then I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought up NAFDAQ. When this was going on, I think some five, six years ago, seven mm. years ago, it was a real clamp down, and mm -hmm. trust me, we can see the effect right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. It is, it is, before you see a number of pharmacy that mm -hmm. is not really registered, mm -hmm. it, not, it has reduced, it has reduced. you know, yeah. selling drugs without yeah. petition. So you if have they can to really down go, like NAFDAQ you know, so did, it you know, it's, yeah, it, it will go done. a long way. We just need yeah. someone like Dora Kunyeli, may you so rest in peace, ma'am. Okay, on that note, Elsie just brought a sad <laughs> note into the studio. <laughs> oh, so with all of those stories, uh, you're now up to date on the biggest entertainment stories this morning. But we're back later this afternoon. Until then, a big thank you to my colleagues in the studio, Elsie and Ife. And I can't leave out the entire production team, as well as our stylist, Kudis Empire. I'm Tukumbo Taiwo saying thanks for watching and have yourself a good morning.